Oh, hi there, kids, and welcome to Creature Feature. I'm really glad that you could spend your Saturday nights here with us and watch a really crappy movie. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. Trust me. And uh, what are you doing here, Nurse Cassie? What's all this mess on my table? Oh, just going through my monthly fan mail that, mm. that I got from the state penitentiary. Oh, goody. Uh, you know, you really should wear rubber gloves while you're handling that because we might need it for some evidence or something. Oh, look. Here's an interesting one. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Huh. Wrote it on underpants. And what is what is that piece of mail say to you today? Dear Nurse Cassie, I watch Creature Feature every Saturday night at midnight. My cellmate tried changing the channel one night, so I shanked him, and he died. Aw, that's so sad. I hope your show is on at least for another 60 years, so I can go on parole for good behavior. Love, inmate number 6766. Well, that was really touching there, kids. Yeah, we got a bunch of interesting stuff. Huh? Let me take one out. Oh, this one looks really interesting, and oh boy. Hey, it's got a mug shot. That's interesting. And uh, this letter reads, Dear Nurse Cassie, I am a big fan of Creature Feature and only watch it because I think you are really cute. And I would like to meet you so I can... Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, the other day, some guy at the bar said Nurse Carrie was cuter than you. So I broke a pool cue and impaled him on it. Oh. Now I'm doing 20 years to life for murder, but you are worth it. I hope we can go out for ice cream sometime when I get released for good behavior. Love number 6735-B. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, that's lovely, but anywho, uh, uh, what's all this uh, bakery mess here on the table? Oh, I thought the guys at the jail were so nice. I baked some muffins for them. Oh, really? And uh, uh, what kind of muffins would these be? Oh, chocolate chocolate chip, of course. What uh, else are there? Yeah, I suppose. Well, they, they certainly do look fairly good. So uh, maybe I'll, I'll try a bite of one of these. And, right. Ah! Oh! Oh! My tooth! My tooth! I think I broke my tooth on this thing. Oh! These are hard as a rock. What did you put in these there, Cassie? I don't know. I just put water, oh. eggs, chocolate, and this pre-made dough. Dough. Let me see that. Hey, this is contractor's dough. It's the stuff they use in, in decks and stuff. It turns hard as a rock. Well, that hardware store does sell groceries, and it does say dough on it. Yeah, this is wonderful. Now, tell you what, I'm gonna go to the dentist to have this tooth looked at, and while I'm gone, I want you to clean up this mess, and, and oh, this box here, my uh, cousin's coming over to pick it up. I guess my aunt wanted these baby pictures of me and my cousin, so make sure that he gets it when he comes over. You got it? Okay. All right, we'll see you in a bit, kids. Yeah. I just yeah. slaved over a hot stove for four hours. Man, I really wish I would have paid attention to home ec class in high school. Come in, we're poor, I have nothing worth stealing. Oh, this place is always so disgusting. Oh. Uh, uh, Mr. Leroy, this place looks like a haunted house. Well, you know what, uh, Miss Pickles, if something jumps out and attacks you, just have fun with it, because it probably needs the exercise anyway. <sighs> ah! I kill me. Miss Pickles, make a note of that. Yes, Mr. Leroy. And, oh, who do we have here, this lovely little vision of beauty? My name is Cousin Leroy, and uh, I'm uh, Sandy Baby's cousin here, and I uh, came over to pick up some photos. Oh, my nurse Cassie. Hello, dear. And here it is. I'm good at handling packages. Well, that's good because so am I. <laughs> well, why don't we look in here because my mother sent me over to pick up some photos for a little family album she's putting together. And there uh, should be some pictures in here of me and Sandy Baby when we were little kids. So let's see over in here. Let's see. Oh, oh, this, this one's really beautiful. Look, there's one in here of me and Sandy Baby and we're all naked in the bathtub. Uh, I can't imagine Doc being a kid. Oh, and, oh, here's a favorite one. 
Here's one when we were two years old and we were both at Coney Island and we were wearing our little sailor suits. It's kind of hard to tell you guys apart. Oh, that's easy. I'm the one with the Coney Island foot long. And, and what else is in here? And, oh, oh look, here's another one of me and Sandy, baby, all naked in the bathtub when we got home that day. And you're still holding the foot long. Hmm, there's sure a lot of pictures of you and Doc in the bathtub naked. Well there, Nurse Cassie, you know what they say. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. How unsanitary. Uh, I only see two in the pictures. Well, there used to be a, a third, and that was my little baby brother, Elroy, but, you know, he was the baby that got thrown out with the bathwater. <laughs> oh, Miss Pickles, make a note of that. Yes, Mr. Leroy. And, oh, what are these culinary delights that you have here on the table there, Nurse Cassie? Well, they were supposed to be muffins, but they didn't turn out too good. Well, sweetie, it just so happens that your old cousin Leroy here happens to be the world's most foremost culinary expert and artiste that there is out there. And you know what? I think I could help you learn some delicious, easy to prepare dishes that are just marvy, and I'm sure whoever you serve them to will just love them. Oh, like Celia de Conne and Spain and Norma and Denmark? Oh, and Spango? here in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, well, I think it's Spago and, uh, and other restaurants like, like Burger World and Taco King, but, but, but that's not important. Yeah, you know, what's important is that uh, I can help you create these dishes and we're gonna have a lot of fun doing it and you know what? Maybe we can have a little surprise for Sandy Baby when he comes back. So, you know what, kids? I think we better get on with tonight's show. So, Nurse Cassie, why don't you roll the, uh, the little cartoon or whatever it is that Sandy Baby plays here? Uh, we only show crappy horror movies, not cartoons. Oh, well, it's the same thing. So, without further ado, Igor, if you would please roll that film. Oh, and Miss Pickles, make a note of that. Yes, Mr. Leroy. Well, hello there, boys and girls, and welcome back to the show. I'm your old pal, Cousin Leroy, and I hope you're enjoying Sandy Baby's piece of crap movie that he's been running for you tonight. Well, we're here in our special test kitchen, so I can share some of my internationally designed recipes with you, the poor home viewer who can't get out to the expensive restaurants where you could try my dishes. That's right. And we're here with the beautiful and talented Nurse Cassie, who's going through my cooking program so she can soon be Chef Cassie. Isn't that right, dear? Yeah, yeah whatever. Are we gonna make anything that we put into a plastic bag with breadcrumbs and shake it? Listen, honey, when I shake things in a bag, the bag is from Neiman Marcus. <gasps> oh, I kill me. Oh, Miss Pickles, make a note of that. Yes, Mr. Leroy. Okay, Dolly Drops, our first dish here is gonna be the classic Russian dish, Noodles Romanov. That's right, and this dish is, uh, uh, looks like it's gonna be just absolutely delish. It's international. Now, tell me, Nurse Cassie, when you cooked up these noodles, did you make them al dente? Yeah, they're al dente. They're all cooked up. All right, boys and girls. Now, as you know, noodles Romanov is an old Russian dish. That's right, it's from the turn of the century. And it was created in the court of the Tsar Nicholas Alexandra in, in Russia. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe it was created by his favorite court magician and healer, Gregory Rasputin, also known as the Mad Monk. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, um, the Tsar and his ministers, they used to serve this dish at fancy dinner parties and cantillions until they were removed from power and assassinated. That's right. 
Uh, how are we gonna make this dish all Russian-y? Well, that's simple, dear, because you see, we've already sauteed it with green onions and some, some bell peppers and, and some red stuff and some cream and some cheeses and things, but there's one ingredient that makes it truly, truly Russian authentic, and that would be the recently found skull of Nicholas Romanov himself. So there you go. Oh. Noodles Romanoff, doesn't it look absolutely delish? Nurse Cassie, would you like to lick the skull? Uh, my dietitian won't let me eat anything with bone marrow in it. Well, I guess it's your loss, sweetie. I'll try <laughs> All right, now, moving along, boys and girls, we have another dish, which it's a dessert piece, which I know you're gonna love. So get out those little note cards and stuff for your recipe file. Now, this dish is called Exploding Cherries Jubilee Meringue Pie. That's right, and it's actually <laughs> an old family recipe, and it is considered a flaming dish, very much like myself. All righty, now, Miss Pickles, did you put all the secret ingredients in here? Yes, Mr. Leroy, I added Tabasco sauce, horseradish, peppercorn, squid, and toenail clippings. Well, oh, that sounds absolutely disgusting. Now, sweetie, you wouldn't put anything that tastes good in a pie that's going to explode now, would you? Now, come on, get over here, and I'm going to let you have the honors of lighting the fuse. Got your lighter? Yeah. Okay, hit the fuse here. All righty, everybody stand back and fire in the hole. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, wasn't that an explosive treat? and a delicious incendiary dessert for you home anarchists out there. So I'll tell you what, uh, Nurse Cassie, why don't you run that uh, sweet romantic movie that I brought that's got Jennifer Lopez in it? But we only show crappy horror movies on this show. Well, that's pretty much the same thing. So Igor, be a jewel and roll that movie. And Miss Pickles, make a note of that. Yes, Mr. Leroy. <laughs> Well, hello there, Kitty Winkies, and welcome back to Creature Feature. I sure hope you're enjoying tonight's movie. Well, we are here with little Chef Cassie here for our piece of resistance. That's right. We're going to show you how to cook something extra special because I know that most of you out there, you know, you're poor and you can't afford to eat at some of the finest restaurants in the world that I have personally created dishes for. That's right. Like Taco King? Har har. Dear, that was very funny and droll. It was about as funny as a drive-by salad shooter. <gasps> ah, ah, oh, I tell me. Oh dear. Um, Miss Pickles, why don't you make a note of that? Yes, Mr. Leroy. Oh, what's this you have here? Well, dearie, as everybody knows, I am one of the world's most foremost premier chefs, and I went to the very prestigious Cordon Bleu cooking school in Perry. France. And one of the first tools that they gave us was something very simple and practical, which I am going to pass on to you. It looks like a sleazy bake oven. Even says it. Uh, I used to have one of these when I was a little kid. It works out a light bulb. <laughs> yes, it most certainly does, my dear, because you know, that is the reason Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. So you can not only cook your food, but you can watch it being cooked too. It's pink. Excuse me, dearie, but do you have a problem with pink? No, 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 I'm just saying. Y you know, Nurse Cassie, do you know why some donuts, you know, like perhaps a Bavarian cream, don't have any holes in them? No. Because they're keeping their little donut holes shut. <laughs> oh, I kill me again. Uh, Mr. Leroy, do you want me to make a note of that? Um, you know what, Miss Pickles? Uh, uh, maybe not. That, that joke wasn't really that funny. Okay, Kitty Winkies. So, now we're going to get to our final dish. That's right. We are going to travel to the mysterious Far East. Ooh, the Far East. Like New Jersey? You're a Bavarian cream donut. Shh. Now, boys and girls, we are going to make the world's famous dish, 
Kung Pao Chicken. That's right. And while you've been busy watching Sanny Baby's crappy little movie, I had Nurse Cassie outside killing and plucking a chicken, which we have here. Now, how did we do over here, uh, Nurse Cassie? This chicken's dead. It's all plucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Pickles, but did you find something that was amusing that you would like to share with the TV audience? The joke was funny, sir. You know what? Why don't you make a note of that, and I'll use it in Cleveland. All righty here. Now, let's see. We've got a, just a little bit of prep work here because with this chicken here, we've got to add special secret ingredients to make it all Chinesey. How do we put the kung pao in it? Well, that's pretty easy. You see, we have to have a little history lesson here first. The Chinese were the first to invent fireworks and mahjong. And whereas you can't cook a chicken with mahjong, you most certainly can make it cook with fireworks. So on my way out here, I stopped by Crazy Melvin's fireworks stand and bought a great old big bag, and we just stuffed that chicken's butt with fireworks. I don't know about this. Oh, don't worry about it, honey, because you see, I packed this with a delicious teriyaki glaze, so when it explodes, it'll cook evenly all over and just be so mwah, magnifique. So, tell you what, nurse, why don't you grab your lighter and light the fuse and let's watch the Chinese fireworks happen. Okay. China in the hole. Well, wasn't that a great big Kung Pao? All righty, well, why don't we clean up this mess just a little bit, because I'm sure Sandy Baby will be back any minute, and I'm sure he's going to want to try this delicious Chinese dish. Oh, no. Here comes Doc. Stupid health insurance. And stupid dentist. And what in tarnation has gone on in my lab? Oh, don't get your tidy whities in a bunch there, Sandy Baby. I was just giving Nurse Cassie here some cooking lessons, and you know what? She graduated at the top of my class from my culinary arts school. Congratulations, dear. I just made Kung Pao chicken. Hey, and what's, what's this on my table? Hey, this is one of those cheesy, sleazy bake ovens. It's pretty dang useless, because all it does is cook crappy little cakes with a light bulb. Well, Kitty Winkies, my job here is done. And I'm going over to Igor's cage, because you see, he said he needed another manicure, and this is the third time this week. I don't know what you do with these fingernails to get them all chewed up and stuff. And oh, these cuticles, Woo! what a mess. So uh, you know what, oh, and uh, uh, while I'm working on this, uh, uh, Miss Pickles, I need you to scan all those photos and email them over to Mother, please. Yes, Mr. Leroy. Mm. Hey, actually, this is pretty good. I can, I can taste the authentic power in it. I put the pow in it myself. Mmm, and, and what would this be? Oh, I made you a delicious pie. Oh boy, I love pie. Oh dear lord, no, you don't need that, Sandy baby. Look at the size of the caboose on ya. Oh yeah, well, listen mister, if my nurse made me a pie, then I'm gonna eat pie. Well, Nurse Cassie, if he wants his pie, then you just give it to him. Oh, I'll give it to him, all right. Ah, <laughs> Blech. you know, this pie is actually not too bad, but it's missing something. I, I think it needs sprinkles. Oh, here, sprinkles. <laughs> ah, lovely. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, 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 you, uh, now that you're a certified cook, um, uh, I don't think I really need you making me anything else other than a nice glass of tap water. So, I'll tell you what, kids, why don't we get back into <laughs> tonight's movie, and uh, uh, we'll see you in a little bit to say goodbye. Uh, Igor, roll it. Oh. Well, God gave me my allowance. <laughs> a whole dollar. <laughs> I don't know why he paid me. It's not like I do anything around here, but hey, who's complaining, right? <laughs> the only bad thing is it's only a dollar. I got a lot of stuff I need to get. A new six pack of soda, a couple of energy drinks, about nine or ten roller dogs would really hit the spot right about now. 
and of course some more video games, some pizza rolls, and some more video games, but I can't do all that with a dollar. Hmm, if only I could use magic or something. Magic! Magic! Did I hear Larry say magic? No. Magic! Zambini is here to do magic for you, Larry. Okay. Doobly doobly doo. I know you need magic no, today. I need a lot. <laughs> oh, oh, you got your allowance. Yes. A dollar. Yes. Where are we going to spend it? Let's go play video games and eat pizza and have pizza rolls. And oh my goodness, we're going to do so many things. But, Let me borrow that dollar from you. But it's only a dollar. We can't do all those things. Oh, yes, we can. We have the stone of Zula Kula Koo. I will show you magic. Give me the dollar that you have. All right, but if I don't get it back, it's double, dude. Oh, don't worry about that, Larry. I'll tell you what. Larry, if, if you saw this bill again, would you be able to identify it? Uh, maybe. I mean, that's this is this is familiar. the bill that you gave me. Yes, I heard that. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, wait. I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm not leaving with your money. I'll <laughs> tell you what I'll do, Larry. I'll do it. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll share the dollar with you. That's the kind of guy I am. Doodly doodly do. Share a dollar? Yes. Wait uh, just a watch. bacon minute. Watch, watch, my watch, watch. dollar. You can add 25 cents of the dollar. Yeah, great. Now I'm even more broke than what I was when I started. But Gee, wait, there's still like 75 cents. There's still 75 mm. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, God. that's my trick. Okay. No, Dude, man. you ripped my Oh, dollar. yes, I did. And I'm going to tear it again. Ah! There's another quarter. Doodly doodly do. I don't think it works that way. Now, look at this. Look at this. I have two quarters, and you have two quarters, and now we can both go and play video games well, and have pizza. You do finally do have do some do. sense, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's not much sense. 50 cents is not much sense. I'll tell you what I'll do, Larry. You need more money. Yeah. We gotta have more fun. Yes. A dollar is not enough to have fun with. No. I'll tell you, I'll help you. I'll fold all these up like magic like this. You won't believe it until no. you see it. And I'll duty on the papers with the magic stone. Don't be dutying anywhere because I'm the one who gets blamed for it. And I'm tired of getting my nose rubbed in other people's duties. Oh, I heard that you duty on the papers too. Doodly doodly do. Well, sometimes. But you'll see, Larry, right before your very eyes, the one dollar isn't all just torn up anymore. No, uh, no, uh, it's amazing. <gasps> Larry, what? we're going to be in trouble with the government. Oh, my goodness. Look, Larry, it's now a hundred dollars. Let me Let's see go that. shopping, Larry. <laughs> doodly, doodly, Thanks, dude. Doodly. See you later. Oh. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we've got for you tonight. So I hope we'll see you again next week, same time, same station, for some more fun. So here's Doc Sanguinary and the Creature Feature cast and crew signing off, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>